Hello everybody, this is the last call for registration for my upcoming tarot workshop, Tarot for Soul Guidance. And again, the workshop will run from May 3rd, which is a Friday, on seven consecutive Fridays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. each day, so that you have time to digest and practice and write questions down and be ready for each successive section, uh, session and can do it from the comfort of your own home. And the Tarot for Soul Guidance workshop is not your typical tarot. It's not uh, so much about a divination type thing or psychic type readings. It's really about how to use the major arcana and the other minor arcana as a means of a language for connecting to your soul, just like you have 26 letters in the alphabet, you have 78 cards in a tarot deck. The 22 major arcana are the key ones, and the other ones are, shall we say, secondary or supportive. And my goal is to teach you all how to learn the language of tarot so that just like you can speak to me right now or understand me because you understand the language of English, when you understand the language of tarot, it allows you to deepen your connection with your soul, particularly for those of you that are still learning to get to the point where you can actually speak to your soul directly on the inside of yourself. This gives you a language so that you have practice. You can watch the recordings of our first session, write down your questions, and in session two, I will offer you a chance to ask questions so that you feel caught up with the rest of us. As we close, I'll share one more little tarot secret with you. Here is the Magician card. Now, if you look at that card, there's something about that card. Very few people catch the Magician's table, which has four tools on it, which are the symbols for each of the suites. The wand is the fire element, the cup is the water element, the sword is the air element, and the coin is the earth element. But a table has four legs, and those four legs represent the elements of earth, water, fire, and air, which are also represented in tarot. But here's the secret. Only half of the table is in the image. The other half is missing. Why? Because the two elements of fire and air represent the invisible realm of spirit and those are the volatile elements that move the elements of earth and water which in alchemy are called passive elements so they represent your mind the missing elements represent your mind your dreaming capacity fire your ability to create and manifest and uh, air is the mind as well. So you have fire, the dreaming ability, the ability to transform one thing into another, a bad situation into a good one, for example. And the air is the effective use of your mind. So the card is showing you that what actually creates the material world is invisible. So if you get stuck in the material world, you never really know why you keep creating these problems. So the magician is telling you be very conscious of all four symbols on the table, but know that two of them are acting from the spirit realm or the realm of the invisible to direct the visible. So your soul is invisible and so is your spirit, but I will show you how to remove that invisibility through a conscious loving relationship so you can get awesome guidance, which has helped me tremendously in my life and does pretty much every day. So I look forward to sharing more with you at the workshop. We'll have a great time. We'll learn a lot together. We'll grow a lot together. And I'll be excited to have a bunch of people out in the world that have connection to their soul so we can all really do our best to evolve and become a force of positive change and loving guidance and support for all the lost people in the world. Lots of love. See you May the 3rd. Aho.